Welcome to the presentation on the School of Business and Tourism. My name is Tracy Marshall and I'm the Head of School at West Suffolk College. I'd like to share with you our ethos in the School of Business and Tourism. We're really passionate about what we do and we really feel that this radiates with our students that study with us. Um, what we're passionate about is that we share our industry experience as teachers. Our teachers have a wealth of experience in the world of both business and tourism and can use these examples to help to nurture, challenge and train our students to ensure that going forward they're in the best place to forge a career within their chosen, chosen industry. As well as providing this actual industry experience, we ensure that our students leave college with connections we do this by allowing them to meet either virtually or face to face with employers. This can be through a range of projects and activities, or it can be through work experience, work placement or industry placements. We also help to encourage their character strengths. And these are the things that are really important to help those students to go forward to find um, meaningful employment or progression into higher further education. And we also enable them to achieve the right qualifications to succeed in the future. We pride ourselves on ensuring that coming to college in a business and tourism class will be a positive and enjoyable experience alongside being both challenging and meaningful. The qualifications that we offer on business and tourism courses are awarded by BTEC Pearson and these consist of a combination of both examinations and coursework. All courses are recognised by universities with a distinction star grade at level three year two being the equivalent as three A stars at A level. The grades that you achieve in year one are then amalgamated with the grades that you achieve in year two, contributing to the overall two year grade at the end. All of the students on every level are aiming to achieve at least a minimum of a merit um, and all qualifications are graded past merit and distinction but for you to be able to successfully progress on to the next level merit is the minimum ex expectation alongside having excellent attendance and behaviour. The thing that we feel makes our offer completely unique is the number of industry range um, projects that we complete with our students and this is the thing that makes the offer really exciting. So we will work with an employer for example focusing on a project that they or a problem an issue that they need to resolve. We will look at how we can help them to manage that, we meet with the employer, we look at their brief, we take over the issue that they've got and then go back to them with a solution. And this really does help the students to enjoy their coursework. It brings the theory to life. It also encourages them to make those connections with employers that help them to move on to employment in the future. So careers and progression is an integral part of everything we do at college. What we teach, the projects we design and the experience given to our students really helps to prepare them for industry and also for progression into higher education. Students are given careers guidance as part of the course in their pastoral lessons. We set targets, review aspirations and also ensure that each student has a clear pathway to help them towards their next area of study or into employment. And in a year two, level three um, qualification, then we spend the first term looking at universities and helping our students with completing UCAS applications. We have a number of students that continue with, with us on level four, which is free to a student who's under 19, and many progress straight into university or into work in their chosen industry. We are aware that some of our students will face personal challenges during the time that they have at college or may just need some extra guidance or one-to-one -one support. So each student is given a course director plus a personal tutor and they have a lesson each week which is dedicated to this and explores wider topics outside business and tourism to cover British values, prevent, e-safety, health and nutrition, relationships and also equality and diversity. 
Um, over the past month, we've been really focusing on Black History Month and we've been having lots of outside speakers that come in to college. Either, most of them have been virtual at this time, but it really helps to start to encourage students to challenge and discuss and debate, which we think are really valuable skills for them to go forward with. They also have time one-to-one -one with their personal support tutor, and this is an opportunity for them just to discuss in confidence any issues that they're having on the course, or any problems with their learning, or also any um, personal problems. And we can help to support our students with those with the help of our student welfare area. English and Maths is incorporated into our study programmes for those students who were um, not successful in achieving a grade four previously. Um, and this gives the students the opportunity to achieve those very important qualifications for their progression again into HE and also into employment. Um, the lessons are tailored to fit around their business and tourism studies. And if you would like to have any extra communication with the Director of English and Maths, her email address is included in this PowerPoint slide. So this slide covers where our students have progressed to. Um, our alumni are cover such a wide area and we have many students who are working in top industry jobs around the world. Um, we have students working as financial managers, advisors, accountants, social media managers, marketing managers, hotel managers, event and conference organisers, tour operators and many entrepreneurial students have started their own business. We use this alumni to support our delivery and invite our previous students back into college so that they can share this experience, share their experience with the students because it really opens up that world of opportunities which is so valuable for our young people. As I previously mentioned, this is the area that we feel is our biggest strength. So working with employers, um, we have, I'd just really like to give you some examples of how we do that. So currently we're working on a marketing project with Submotion and some, our, some of our media students have actually made a film called Maximus and the business students are working on how to promote that film and they're focusing on how to promote it through social media, website and also through festival planning. An additional area is those students that are keen to explore event management, are helping to prepare for a pop-up cinema event screening for Maximus in the college car park. Um, on top of that, on the week of the 16th of November, we have a virtual event which is um, coinciding with Global Enterprise Week. And this links our students to speak to employers from a wide range of um, different employment agencies. And just to, to name a few, we're working with Strategic, Three Points Digital, Free All Good, DOP Consulting, Treat, QPay, Willis Towers, Watson, Affinity PR, and the New Anglia Local Enterprise Partnership. And again, this gives students the opportunity to, to build connections, to help them going forward to opportunities in apprenticeships and also to employment. But these skills will also motivate the students should they wish to go further forward to starting their own entrepreneurial, um, setting up their own business. So very exciting opportunities available through working with employers on these courses. So we're coming to the end of the presentation, so what to do next? Please do watch the college fly through to see our facilities. Our classrooms are based in the gateway. Um, you will have the opportunity to see the gateway building. It's a very exciting new building in the college, so please do take a look at that. Watch our podcast to, and to hear about our courses and also jump onto the PowerPoints for specific courses in business and travel to find the best one for you and then complete the application online. We're really excited to be able to meet with you and we'll be carrying out interviews very shortly. So if you'd like to find out any more information, here is a list of the people to contact. I'm Tracy Marshall, the head of school, and below on the list are all of the course directors for each course level. Please do take the time to email them if you would like to have any further advice um, having watched their podcasts.
Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you need any further advice, please do make contact with us either online, um, by email or by telephone. Thank you.